All right, guys, welcome to Business Network Television. I'm Paul Bazaar, and I'm the owner of 38 Television. We started a new segment recently, and it's called Business Network Television, just like the sign says. And my first guest here is one of the most awesome people I've ever met, I can tell you right off the bat, James Denham, and he is with TBI One Love, and has a heck of a story to tell you for a lot of reasons, but a lot of good has come out of that now, hasn't it, James? Yes, sir. So, it's, uh, thank, welcome, thank you. Oh. Welcome to the show, and uh, tell us your story. Uh, yes, sir. My name is James Durham, like you stated. Mm -hmm. I'm a six-year traumatic brain injury survivor. I'm also a Ziegler Legacy Certified Trainer, Zig Ziegler, mm -hmm. a radio host, a Tier Memorial Herman Hospital representative. I'm a board member at three organizations, for example, Second Chance of Northwest Florida, uh, Crossing Pass, and of course, my organization, TBI One Love. And then it's amazing how, after my injury, it's just an example, how we all go through obstacles, but the outcome is never the end. We have to change our perspectives, and that's going to have a positive result, not only to our life, but those who we surround ourselves with, because we want to be the answer, not the problem. Right. Yes, yeah, sir. So. so tell the folks, and by the way, if you have any comments or questions or anything for James, please comment in the, uh, the box below, and feel free to uh, communicate with us while we're on the show. And Jeff, tell us a little bit about what actually happened in, in the first place, because a little, you know, a little background about what where we are today. Yes, sir. Well, on September twenty second, two thousand eleven, I was in a very bad car versus motorcycle accident at nine thirty at night, and just in a matter of seconds after this took place, it not only changed my life but also everyone that associated me, not only with me there in San Antonio, Texas, my workforce but also my family, friends, and that's the problem with any obstacle, but most importantly, a brain injury. In a matter of seconds, everything changes, and this, there is no finish line. Yeah, for sure. So six, six years ago, and you know, it's almost like nothing ever happened, but obviously I'm sure that there's a background to that that uh, you know, maybe you could share with us a little bit. Okay, yes sir, I would love to, and that goes with a perfect example of how not only a brain injury is an invisible disability, but that goes with everyone going through something. You don't ever judge a book by its cover because some people don't feel comfortable with letting others know what's going on because it's the whole, oh, I don't want to be judged because life's not about competing, it's about completing. And once you ease your mind and take that weight off your shoulders, you not only have a positive results in your own personal life, but those around you, you inspire them to be inspired. So sure. on my accident, what happened was as I was going home at 9.30 at night on Blanco Road in San Antonio, Texas, it was a beautiful night. I stopped and filled up my bike with gas because my rule was if it was below halfway of gas, I was going to fill it up. So I wasn't late the next morning to open up the apartment complex. I know how that goes. <laughs> yeah, I always want to get it done right. So when I was going home, going over to the overpass, there was a car that was facing me, ongoing traffic. And this individual kept scooting up. So I assumed, oh, they're doing a U-turn. There's no blinker on. We've all seen individuals driving with no blinkers. It's very common. So yeah, I got very. In, <laughs> I got in the right third lane of the road. I was the only one on the road. I drove an R6 that was pearl white, HID lights, loud pipe saves the life. So it was impossible not to be seen or heard day and especially at night. Never wanted an accident to happen. Yeah, sure, for sure. I mean, obviously, you know, we see it with bicycles even. You mm -hmm. know, guys out there with uh, dark clothing on and no bike lights, and it's like. You're on 98, dude. Yeah. You really need to take a little bit more care about being seen. You know, it's okay if you can see. Yes, sir. And I was wearing a helmet. Always wore a helmet when on a bike. A lot of people, as you know, motorcycles, bicycles in general, skateboards, nothing. They don't think, oh, I need to wear a helmet. But that definitely saves your brain, and that's the most important aspect. Well, for sure. I mean, if you're six foot tall, you're going to fall to your head six feet. Exactly. Yes, sir. You know, I'm going to check out, see if we've got some comments going on here. So I'd like you to, if you could, um, just go through a little bit of what you're doing with, with, your, with uh, this card right here that you gave me, which is awesome. Uh, yes, sir. Thank you. What this card is, this is the TBI One Love handout card. Not only when I do public speaking, this is what I hand people to give them explanation about my 5013C nonprofit organization, but also when survivors join our family tree, they get this and we call it the share the love package. Not only do they get this handout card, I print them an actual letter, you know, thanking them for joining our organization and inspiring others and helping rebuild the world. But also I give them one of these weatherproof uh, print, press, print press graphic stickers, which is simply the best. If you go to press print graphics, mm -hmm. anything's possible. So I highly thank them for the opportunity to get this. 
And without them, there wasn't the ability. So what's amazing is with my organization, we're coming on the third year anniversary this December. And in just three years, we've had over 300 different survivors join and share their story of hope. And that's what the acronym of HOPE stands for. Help gotcha. out people everywhere. Everyone needs hope. We are hope. And also, it's from 12 different countries. So not only in America alone, it's happening over 2.5 million sustained brain injury per year, but it's also the highest death rate. It occurs more than cancer, wow. any disease, but yet it's the least talked about. Luckily now, with football, after that 10 to 12 years of them denying that there's any brain injury and hiding, right, right. but it's finally getting parents for all ages mm -hmm. that brain injuries happen every, to anyone, at any time, everywhere. Mm -hmm. As of last year, it's every 4.5 seconds someone is sus sustaining a brain injury. When I sustained mine in 2011, it was every 20 to 25 seconds. But mm -hmm. it's drastically changing, and it's unfortunate that it's taken so long to get the attention that's needed. Sure. It's very common in the military. It's very common, like I stated, in 12 different countries so far. I've got some more coming in from Puerto Rico, India. So it's definitely getting a great notice of how it's not just an American thing. Brain injuries are everywhere. And the problem is, is not all survivors are as functional as I am. There are high-functioning TBI survivors, low-functioning, or just bedridden. But you never know unless someone informs you, hey, they do have a brain injury. Mm -hmm. And there's different forms of brain injury. As you know, not only the football, there's CTE. There's also ABI, acquired brain injury. That happens from a heart attack, stroke from the inside, where your brain loses oxygen. Right. Then obviously TBI, traumatic brain injury, that's from an outside force. Yeah. It can be just falling down um, with your shoelaces not being tied. Oh, you just hit your head, that's fine. Mm -hmm. And with recent studies, and I have love learning more about the brain, how it functions, not only to help myself, but also to help in the silence and rebuild the world. It's amazing how in recess, a uh, study recently in middle school, recess was having a high percentage of TBIs because some of you don't have to be like me where you get put in a coma medically or naturally like mine. You have to have a craniectomy where they take out part of your school. But the kids could fall and then they go home and they get sick. The mom will take them to the doctor like, oh, well, they have some bruises on the brain. Mm -hmm. And kids from the age from 1 to 14 are the highest risk of getting brain injuries. Mm. Wow. Mm -hmm. You know, I know it's you see some stories sometimes when somebody maybe had a skiing accident, fell down. Mm -hmm. I think it was a, a wasn't it uh, Liam Neeson's wife? I think mm -hmm. there was yeah, a famous thought, skier over in Russia that got yeah he had fallen uh, in Switzerland, I believe it was. Mm -hmm. And there's also here in America Kevin Pierce. He's a famous long, uh, snowboarder, and he was practicing for the Olympics. He grew up, you know, with Sean White. And his movie, I highly recommend others to watch, is called The Crash Reel. Okay. And his organization is LoveYourBrain.org. Let's see if we can post that on here while you're in, uh, excuse me, looking away from me here, but I'm trying to uh, post post some things on here. And uh, Thank you for sharing the, the Facebook Live here today. We really appreciate that. And you know, if you would like to share your website and your Facebook uh, contact yeah. information, that we can keep referring to that through the whole uh, deal. So yes, what sir. That, what was that movie called again? Uh, the Crash Reel, R-E-E-L. -E -E that gives the opportunity for others to see not only how easy it is to sustain another brain injury, but also, it's amazing how when they did that documentary, they showed his steps, not only during rehabilitation in the hospital, but also his family got to speak friends, and you could see the difference. So definitely visit Love Your Brain. Also, to visit my organization and see other stories of hope, do not be afraid to visit tbionelove.org. Also, with me being now a licensed Ziegler Legacy Certified Trainer, I can give you key aspects to obtain a positive life by easily changing your mind. You can visit not only tbionelove.org to find other connections with that, but also zigglercertified.com slash James Durham. And I promise you, by these seven steps of obtaining a positive life, as all obtained and easily accessed just by feeding your mind different information. Because just like Tom Ziegler stated, what you feed your mind determines your appetite. So if you want to live a positive life, it's all got to start with here. Because no one lives your life for you. Yeah, you think Facebook these days, people are... They use it to uh, sound off a little bit, don't they? Yes, sir. And some of the stuff you see on there is like a little bit, this is what you're upset about? Yeah. It's pretty crazy, isn't it? And it's amazing so. how, you know, with that statement, not only it is pretty crazy, but also that's another form of people don't have the comfortability of speaking to others what they're going through, so they want to post yeah. something about it. And that's also the same result problem as not feeling comfortable. You're going to get judged. 
you're going to have negative feedback, and that's the sure. problem. You know, you need to associate with just positive individuals that lift you up, not push you down. Yeah, no doubt, absolutely. We appreciate everybody sharing the uh, the stream today. So, uh, thank you so much for that, and uh, thanks for watching Thirty Eight TV. And so, James, what's the next step for you now? Are you you're out in the field, so to speak, and telling other people about what you're what you've experienced and what you're doing and how, how the uh, TBI One Love can help people? Yes, sir. I do, I do a lot of public speaking. I'll go to hospitals, other brain injury rehabilitation centers, other schools, nursing departments um, that are learning how to you know advance others and help share the love. So if you would like to learn not only more about a brain injury, but also the positive aspects of having a positive mind, like I said, being a Ziegler certified trainer, I can teach you the seven steps that will not only change your life, but they'll change your career and most importantly, relationships of all forms. So visit tbiwillove.org and also contact me at zieglercertified.com slash James Durham. And I promise you, these seven steps will change your life for the best possible dream becoming reality. Well, I'll tell you what, I mean, this is really enlightening to, to just have this conversation with you. Thank you. I, mean, I, I could talk to you all afternoon, which I'd love to do. Yes, sir. Me too. Uh, Thank so, you. So where where are you going next? Or do you have anything planned in the in the in the locations here, Panama City Beach and the Destin area? You got anything coming up that we could tell the folks about? Um, I do have some. They're going to be all online. Some webinars I'll be doing with Tier Memorial Herman Hospital in Houston, Texas. Survivorships explaining the abilities to have survivors and caregivers understand the next step. Because like I stated, with a brain injury or with any obstacle we go through in life, it's not the end. Not only right. it could always be worse. But the lights are still on, so you, there's no curtains that have been thrown in front of you, so it's not the end of the road. For sure. Mm -hmm. I'll be doing also some work uh, possibly with the Texas Brain Injury Alliance. I'll be going to Austin, but I will be doing some Rotary Clubs and some other communication skills. And I have my radio show um, with Brain Injury Network Radio. That comes on the 1st, 3rd, and 5th Monday of every single month from 9 to 11 p.m. Central Time. So if you'd like to tune into that, not only visit tbi1love.org, but also visit braininjuryradio.com. So I look forward to hearing back from you, not only to change your perspectives on how to obtain a positive life, but also let you understand that we're too blessed to be stressed because life is about completing, not competing. So where can they hear the, the radio? The radio, so. not only you can hear that on tbi1love.org, but also on braininjuryradionetwork.com. Gotcha. Yes, sir. Well, this is awesome. I'll tell you what, I'm, I'm, I'm such a ball here. I'm trying to figure out how to end this neat live stream. <laughs> I'm going to have to walk off set here in a minute. So, uh, listen, it's been, it's been great Thank talking to you. I really Thank appreciate you, it. And you know what? This is a great way to, for me to kick off uh, Business Network Television on 38 TV. We're all looking to grow together and yes, network sir. with other folks and, and be able to tell your story and other people's story. So, we're, we're just so much appreciative of, what, uh, of you coming on today and, and talking. Yeah talking to 38TV and the 38TV viewers that are out there. Thank you for the opportunity. Thanks so much. I appreciate it.